Will you have enough money to retire one day? If you're an average American in this country, the answer is probably no. You could even be thinking, what retirement? It's never gonna happen for me. And if it does happen, it's probably gonna be on Social Security. What's the average payment for people on Social Security? How much do they get paid every month? Well, it's about $1,700 a month, which, if you do the calculation, it's $20,000 a year. What are you gonna do with that money? Where are you gonna live? Maybe if you go to Mississippi somewhere in the rural area or you go to Iowa or one of the Dakotas, maybe you might be able to make it work. But what's your lifestyle gonna be? Are you gonna be able to take care of other family members? Maybe immediate family members? Maybe help out friends? The answer once again is no. You cannot do that with $20,000 a year. And what's your lifestyle gonna be? Probably ramen noodles, rice, those frozen meals, things like that. Maybe you won't even have a car. You might have to use a bike or a scooter to get around. Now, if you're one of these people who think, I'm never retiring, I'm gonna work until I draw my last breath. That might sound like a good idea, but the reality is your body is gonna tell you to stop working. It doesn't matter if your work task is not laborious. It takes energy to stand up, to walk around, to sit down, to actually do tasks. And as you get older, physically, do we deteriorate? Mentally, we start to deteriorate. Not only are you not gonna wanna work, your body is not going to let you work. So what then? Let's say you're one of the lucky ones and you actually have a 401k. The company that you currently work for helps you contribute to a 401k. That sounds pretty nice, right? It's a retirement vehicle to assist you as you get older. Here's the thing about 401ks. They were largely introduced to the private sector because companies wanted to stop paying pensions. So now what we're left with is this account that's connected to the stock market. So when the economy does poorly, like let's say the last 12 or 18 months, when the stocks go down, then your overall balance goes down. So you have to kind of time it in order to get the most bang for your buck when it comes to your 401k and your retirement. And you have to be proactive, especially during your younger years. You have to elect to even put money into the 401k. They're not gonna do it automatically for you. So what's the average 401k balance when a person turns 60 years old? The average balance is about 200,000. So if you divide that by 20 years, saying that you're going to live into your 80s, so divide 200,000 by 20 years, you're going to get an extra $10,000 a year. So combine that with Social Security, and what we're left with is $30,000 a year. But not everyone gets a 401k, and the people that actually get 401ks, a lot of times when there's an emergency, you'll find them dipping into their 401ks, taking loans off of their 401ks. There is another choice out there. There is a job that gives you three retirements as long as you are a US citizen. This includes Social Security and a TSP, which is like a 401k and a federal pension that's guaranteed by the federal government for the rest of your life. This is a federal government job, and currently the federal government employs over 2 million employees across the world. And right now, there's over 10,000 job openings that you can apply for. You know how long it takes to get a pension? It only takes five years. It doesn't take 20, it doesn't take 30 years. It takes five years to be vested into a federal pension. And on top of that, there's an urgent hire list. There are jobs such as human resources, IT specialists, attorneys, medical officers, where they're expediting hiring. Some to, in some cases, they're even putting a bonus on top of it where you can get in without even competing with veterans. If they use the direct hiring authority, you're not competing with them. So let's look at it side by side. On one side, in the private sector, you have your social security and you have your 401k. You may or may not have it, that's 30,000 a year. And on the federal side, the average federal pension is worth 22,000 a year. So add that with 20,000 for social security and 15,000 for the average TSP. And if you add all of that together, you will end up with $57,000 a year when you retire. This is a lot better than your average private sector employee who's only getting between 20 and 30,000. This is over double what you could see in the private sector. And the amount can be higher than 57,000 a year. Let's say you're ambitious and you don't stop at GS-12 or GS-13. You keep climbing the ladder. You hit GS-14 or 15. Now we're talking about 60, $65,000 a year 
and you, you can enjoy your retirement without having to worry about the cost of a dozen eggs or how much two liters of milk costs or are you gonna be able to afford your mortgage payment or your car payment? And it's not just the federal government, you can look at the local government. You can look at law enforcement, firefighters, utility companies. There are still organizations that will provide you a pension. It adds another layer of security, of protection. I know if you're watching this right now and you're younger, if you're in your 20s or your 30s, it's hard to imagine an older version of ourselves. How will we look and how will we think when we're 65, when we're 67, or when you're 57? How are you gonna behave? Are you gonna be wondering? Are you worried about your future? If you are, then the option's clear. At a certain point, you have to consider getting into the government for at least five years locking in that pension. Now, if you are interested in working for the federal government, you can have a lot of questions in mind. In fact, I try to do a monthly live stream where I answer a lot of these questions. They usually run about an hour, but there's timestamps so you don't have to waste your time. If you're interested in that, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.